Most kids run and hide when it comes to doing math, but learning math, it doesn't have to be a struggle. Holly Geiger and Connie Berta of Mathnasium, they are here today to tell us how they can help and they're gonna teach us a little bit along the way. Good to see both of you. I wanna start with you, what does Mathnasium do? Mathnasium is an after school learning program um, where we teach kids math in an environment that's safe and, and fun for them. And for parents who are wondering, you know, what's a good age to get your kids started with a math tutor? We have kids as young as first grade all the way up through college level getting help with math. I mean, first graders, I mean, you know, you wouldn't think it would start that early, but that's how you build the confidence, right? Yes, we're able to, to make math make sense to first graders. I love that. Make math make sense. And I want to ask you, because Connie, one of the things that we find is that confidence, they just, they get, you know, they start beating themselves up. How do you guys build a child's confidence? Our philosophy at Mathnasium is that uh, there's more than one way to solve any math problem. So we, te we all teach a number of diff different methods to try to zero in on the one that's going to make the most sense for that student. And you know, you, you hear parents, I've got nine-year-olds, they go, I hate math, and they, you know, ball up their fists. Why do you think kids hate math sometimes? I think, unfortunately, too many teachers only teach the how to do a problem, and they aren't really focusing on the why do we do this, and that's right. what we try to do at Mathnasia. And you're giving that confidence to parents and students along the way, and the cool thing about what Mathnasium does, they are going to show you right now what makes it simple. You teach it in two different ways, so give mm -hmm. us a this is the problem right. solve. Okay, exactly. so let's go for it. All right, we're going to solve a problem. We're going to find the least common multiple and greatest common factor of two, uh, of two different numbers. Factor is a number that goes into another number. Multiple is a number that they're going into. The method I'm going to show you, and this is the Mathnasium method, is a factor cake because it looks like an upside down cake. I start by writing my numbers. What I'm looking for now is the largest number that goes into both of those and the, lar and the smallest number that they go into. We just start dividing. We're going to start our layers. What is a number that divides into both 12 and 30? And so I'm going to pick 2. Now I look at the two answers I have. Is there a number that divides into 6 and 15? Let's go with 3. Now there's no number that divides into both of those, so I stop. The greatest common factor is the product of the numbers on the side, 6. 6 is the largest number that divides into 12 and 30. The least common multiple is the product of all the outside numbers, 60. And that's the smallest number they go into. How simple for such a complicated process. Oh my goodness, Holly and Connie, you did it. You taught us in less than a minute how to break down a problem. And I can imagine when parents see their kids' confidence go through the roof, they feel better. They, they love it. They love it. They and love grades. to see the grades go up. Absolutely. Yeah, That's it. what it's about, turning yeah. those C's and D's into A's and B's. Well, if you'd like to get math help for your kids, mention Sonoran Living Live, and you'll receive an assessment and two sessions for just $39. There are 11 Mathnasium locations across the valley. Go to Mathnasium.com to find the one nearest you. And coming soon, Mathnasium of Ahwatukee. Now this will be located at 4025 East Chandler Boulevard. That is right next to the Trader Joe's. For much more information, give them a call today. 480-706-MATH. That's 480-706-6284.